This next video is going to be troubleshooting tips for the 6x6 and 7x7. But if you've already solved a 3x3, a 4x4, and a 5x5, you should be able to solve one of these. But I'm going to give you some troubleshooting tips. I'm not going to do full solves or walkthroughs on these. You should uh, have it down pretty well. The first thing we're going to do is get the top face, uh, or the top center, rather, all the same color. So we'll get there first. So now that the uh, top centers are white, just as you would on any other bigger cube, we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to get the bottom side to be the opposite color, which in this case is yellow. Let's get that done right now. So now we have opposite sides where the centers are solved and you guessed it, we're going to move on to adjacent edge pairing. I'm sorry, adjacent uh, corner pairing. So I'm going to do red and blue on both cubes, uh, even if it's not the most efficient. You're going to do this the same way you would normally do on a 4x4 or 5x5. No difference. I'm going to get that done really quick. So now we have the two adjacent centers, red and blue, done. And we're on the last two centers. And last two centers is where things start to be a little different. Um, we're still going to stick to that same strategy where... We make horizontal blocks and insert them in vertically. And we're going to do that all the way up until we get to the last row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve all of the columns until we get to the last row. And we're going to pick up on both cubes from there. So after pairing up all of the columns and getting to the last column, this is what I was left with. The idea is still going to be the same. We're going to try to get all of the uh, edge pieces up into the top. And if we can get the edge pieces connected like this case, it's actually very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to pair one of our corner pieces up, move it out of the way, and back down. Now, notice this one is in the top corner. This would actually be better if it was in the what? Bottom corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy in the bottom corner so when we push it out of the way we can then pull this guy back down into the bottom and put it back for a nice easy pair this one might not be as easy let's see I think what we need to do here is we need to put this one in the top corner because this one is also in the top corner. So when we push this one out of the way and pull it back down, we're left with a nice solid horizontal row. But notice there's no way to get this extra piece in. So we're going to show you how to troubleshoot this piece and this might happen with one piece or possibly two pieces but you line them up so they're in the exact position notice this one is the second row last column second row last column you're going to push it down like you're taking its place turn it out of the way and it is moved right here push that one down turn it back and then turn them both back up and that will solve your last two centers now on six by six and seven by seven there's no need to do that type of center solving more than two times it's actually uh, you could do the you could do the whole thing and make fancy patterns and put hearts and all sorts of stuff on these cubes using that technique but there's no need to do that for more than uh, two, two of those little pieces at a time. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the edge pairing. And the edge pairing is done the same exact way on the 4x4 four four for reduction, 5x5. Five five. It'll be done the same way for 6x6 six six and the same way for 7x7. Seven seven. So I'm going to get all of the edges paired up and we're going to get into the troubleshooting parity cases on 6x6 six six and 7x7. Seven seven. So what we're going to do now is run by all the parity combinations that could come up on 6x6 and 7x7. Seven seven. If you ever see this, this is kind of like the 5x5 five five case because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We would just run it just like the 5x5 five five case. Grab them. Grab them. 
and that will fix that case. The next case we're going to do is very similar to the 4x4 four four case. So this is 6x6 six six, uh, parity for the edge. This is where you're trying to make your cross on top. Uh, we're going to run that the same way you would run on 4x4, four four, except we're going to grab all three right here. So that was just like 4x4 four four edge parity, and we're going to get into the last uh, case for 6x6 six six parities. So this is the last 6x6 uh, six six parity could come up. It's where you're going to solve the cube in the final phase, but the front and back need to be swapped. We're going to do this just like 4x4, four four, except we need to treat it like this. 1, 2, 3, so these two edges count as one and these two edges count as one. So we're going to flip those twice just like we would on 4x4. Four four. Now this part we got to flip the whole upper half. And now just the middle band to fix it. And those are all the parity cases that could pop up on 6x6. Now the 7x7 parity cases. So this parity case on 7x7 is just like a 5x5 five five parity for the most part. Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These ones would be paired up as one block. So it is very similar to 5x5 five five parity where we only need to swap the inside one. So we're going to hold all three at first. Now when we go down, we're going to grab all four. Just like on 5x5, five five, you grab the middle band. Now we uh, just fix it. Let's put on 5x5. Five This is another 7x7 seven seven edge parity. It is just like 5x5, five five, where we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to start by holding this, and the big wide turn is going to be most of the cube, like this. 1, 2, 3 ups. Big wide one down. That's a second down. Third down. Now we're going to bring it up and then down two more times. The last parity case you could run into on 7x7 is where they're all toggled like this. Assuming you want to fix it with parity, you could treat it like a 5x5 five by, five by flipping the inside one first, where it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll do that first. Even though that those aren't fixed, we're going to treat them as one block. So now we can do another parity where we go one, two, three, four, five, five by five parity. Big wide turn. And that is the hardest parity case that you really don't need to know because you could fix it a different way. But if you wanted to fix it with parity, you could fix it that way. And other than that, the 7x7 is just like any other uh, cube from here on out. There's no uh, back to front parity like you have on even number cubes. I hope you like the uh, quick tutorials on the 6x6 and 7x7 tips. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. I'll make another video later. Have a great day, guys.